Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday night, Christmas evening here, December 25th, 2024, 10, 11 p.m. California time. Latest activity here shows a 1.9 across the area of uh, Texas, it looks like. A little bit of movement popping off here across the uh, northeastern corner of the Pacific Plate. Earlier today had a uh, 4.9 off the uh, Cascadia subduction zone up here. It looks like it's on the Pacific side of the plate boundary here, but uh, uh, 4.9, pretty decent earthquake up there earlier, uh, about six miles deep or so. Uh, since then, noticing a little swarm of activity up here in the Gulf of Mexico with uh, a couple other smaller quakes, including a three-pointer, 3.6 to be exact. I was just looking at the uh, tremor activity here across the Cascadia uh, throughout the day today, and it looks like things are starting to pick up a little bit on the north end here of the Cascadia and also a little bit down in the south. Uh, nothing big, about 35 epicenters of tremor along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. So we'll continue to watch that, see if anything starts kicking up following the uh, elevated tremor activity. Uh, a couple of earthquakes there this morning in the Petrolia area with some twos. Uh, aside from that, uh, let's see. Let's see what else we got going on for California. Bay Area, pretty quiet. No major movement out here for now. Uh, a look at the 2.5 map and above shows, uh, well, that one 2.7 way down south here in the Octalo Wells area. That's off the San Jacinto Fault Zone from earlier today. Aside from that, uh, general small microquake activity prevailing across the area of the west coast uh, with nothing major going on. A little bit of movement out here across southwestern Wyoming near Little America. Very shallow earthquake. Um, looks like it's just off the uh, Interstate 80 there for a 3.3. Let's see, it has been reviewed. Just kind of in an odd area. Don't really see too much earthquake activity out there in this region, but it looks like nearby, closer to the White Mountain area there, Wyoming uh, has seen a little bit of historical earthquake uh, data there. I want to run over and check out the Yellowstone map. I'm sure that earthquake showed up quite nicely on some of the stations here, perhaps. Um, let's see here. What's going on? Almost looks like this is a repeat of this morning's graphs. Hold on a second. I'm refreshing it, but it's not refreshing. Okay, let's see here. So, UTC time. 0530. Hmm. It almost looks like some of these may be offline here. Really can't tell on the date. Wish I could see this a little bit better. Um, yeah, these may actually be offline. It looks like this looks like the uh, data from this morning, but then again, not. I don't know. I'm looking for that 3.3 that showed up earlier way down in southwestern wyoming it's possible it didn't pick it up out here uh this may be a sign of it a little weak signal but uh didn't really show up too uh drastically out here there's a couple earthquakes there listed on the map uh, as i noted there like two or three earthquakes but uh, aside from that really nothing major going on there across yellowstone national park nothing being reported here but uh they should get to a couple of the smaller earthquakes there i just showed you on the graph tomorrow morning once everyone's in the office and you know all the all of uh everything's set up they should come back and revise that earthquake map we'll check back here tomorrow uh we got 2.6 coming in right now looks like or was that uh Oh, yeah, that's the earthquake that I just showed you guys. No, it wasn't, was it? This is a new one popping up here, 2.6 in the Anza area, a little bit further north of the Octilla Wells earthquake this morning. Uh, sneaking in a little 2.6, but notice the time frame here. Within the last five minutes, it looks like. That earthquake's going to be right about here, I think. That is showing up on the Barrett Station, also the China Lake Station. So some movement kicking up here across the southern end of the state. Uh, Texas oil fields still getting hit out there. Really nothing major going on across the rest of the country. 
And if we look here at the last 24 hours of earthquake activity today, after midnight, Christmas Day here, 5.0 uh, in Columbia, the latest earthquake there, about 43 miles deep here into the uh, area underneath the region. Really not a whole lot of earthquake activity happening here right now. Uh, no Christmas Day earthquake, I mean, in terms of larger scale potential. Still a little early, though. Still got two hours before midnight, so we'll see what happens. Uh, clustering going on here across the Java Trench on a broad scale. Uh, but nothing major happening, just a very active area. A little bit of move, uh, movement across the Himalaya area as well. Nothing major across the rest of the globe, as you can see here. Just a uh, deeper activity into the Columbia area. Some movement along the Middle America Trench there as well. And uh, typical movement down in the South America area. New Zealand, kind of quiet down here for now. Some older quake activity here over the last 24 hours in the red circles. Um, one new quake, it looks like, here around the Philippines. I think I've seen that showing up here on the seismograph station right about here. A little glimpse of uh, some type of earthquake signature there from a 4.6. Um, yeah, that was at 2155, so that's been like 25 minutes ago. So that's not the 4.6. That looks like that was uh, back here a little ways, maybe back beyond the scale. Uh, it's just somewhat of a, maybe another newer quake coming into the area. Not a big one, but uh, just a little bit of activity. Uh, space weather, goodness, things have been popping and crackling out here in terms of M flare activity here since this morning's update. Got uh, a number of large M flares here in the last few hours, almost a near X flare. Uh, that is coming off of a. Uh, a number of sunspots there. Uh, this latest one, the M7.4, is from the northeastern quadrant of the sun. That's going to be sunspot number AR3938, which uh, has popped off a couple of different flares here. Um, not directly squared and lined up with Earth, but uh, there's a couple areas, as Kevin noted here, on the northeastern quadrant over here as well, across the uh, center disk of the sun that's uh, been popping off some uh, some good sized flares so we should see here a little bit of amplification in the auroras as we head uh, probably towards this weekend time period pending uh, uh, those flares produce a CME right now wow you know they originally had this set up as a uh, maybe a G1 class storm for tonight but nothing's coming in we're, we're not even measuring anything uh, on the KP index there, the Aurora forecast, very minimal. So I don't think this is going to portray as it's forecasted here. It's uh, just one of those calls there that uh, it looks like this plasma cloud here recently missed us. We'll see what happens with the uh, next couple ones. Either way, the sun is uh, active in terms of sunspot activity out here. Complexity, can't really tell on the black and white image here. Uh, we would have to go to this graph with the, uh, looks like AR3933, a beta gamma delta structure. Um, is a, one of the larger ones out there and continuing to grow. Uh, AR3933 is out here in this region. So uh, that's, a, that's a lot of sunspots out here currently facing the Earth. So things should start getting interesting here. Uh, pretty soon could see an X flare uh, never know the way things are popping and crackling right now 10% uh, chance there for an X flare M flare 75% C flare around 99% chance or so as uh, far as severe weather nothing major going on right now um, let's see here this is valid for Thursday. Yeah, this is going to be for uh, tomorrow here on the day on Thursday. Got a huge area of uh, severe weather potential out there, it looks like. Across Texas, Oklahoma, or uh, yeah, portions of Oklahoma, uh, Arkansas, and Louisiana. 
Got some big-time tornado threat out there as well with a 5% wind and uh, some decent hail as well across that area. I'll put this into motion here and see what uh, uh, forms down here. Yeah, it looks like it uh, just kind of pops up there with that low-pressure system. Silk in that area with some heavy-duty rainfall, but also uh, the severe weather threat for the day tomorrow. So just a heads up. California got another storm system knocking on our door, looks like, uh, for tomorrow and into Friday. Uh, after that, um, maybe a little bit more rain there as we head into next weekend. After that, the pattern starts to change a little bit out here. A lot of colder air trying to venture down across the, the, uh, the majority of the country out here. So we'll have to watch that. That could be a severe weather threat day right there when this colder air intermixes with the warmer, moist air. That uh, it, it happens quite often here. So severe weather is possible at any time of the year when we see events like this uh, take place. Uh, let's see here. Anything else major going on out here? Nothing for now, folks. We downgraded that 2.6 to a uh, 2.4. So now we only have one earthquake above the 2.5 range, but hey, we'll continue to watch it. Keep an eye on things out here. Hope everyone had a um, a good day with their family. If uh, you celebrated the uh, holiday, Christmas holiday event, little earthquake showing up there on the Petrolia station right now. Uh, it looks like it's just starting to uh, come into the data. Nothing big, as far as I know. Um, let's see what else we got. Six to ten day forecast out there. Well, man, it, put, it puts us in the uh, dry category out here across, uh, well, this is the temperature outlook. Warmer near normal out there for the uh, remainder of the year into the first week of January. But uh, things are going to be changing, it looks like, here. Um... Yeah, I don't. I do not like that. It shows the West Coast there much drier and below average precipitation for both of those model runs. Uh, but I'm sure to come back. Hopefully, we need. We definitely need some more rainfall. We got quite a bit. But hey, um, I will take all we can get. All right. So there's that little spike. Nothing going on. Nothing major going on for now, folks. Just a couple small microquakes on uh, a number of stations out here. Uh, we'll watch things here tonight and see what uh, takes place. But uh, as of right now, no Christmas Day earthquake in terms of larger events this year. Have a good one, and uh, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on uh, in the morning time for the Thursday morning update.